and you're used to girls just coming out, flocks of them, mm -hmm. 10 at a time. Um, whether or not they're professionals or not is a different story. Yeah. So if you're the foreigner and the girl is immediately like straight away, like, I'll go with you and yeah. like no questions asked. Yeah, it means like, uh. doesn't, doesn't even go where, like, where are they going to go? Like a good time tonight. <laughs> do you think girls, do they team up with each other? Never. I never approach a man in my life, as in never. Hey, mate, like, how you going like this? <laughs> Duh, that's embarrassing that like, I'm the, I'm the prize. Why would I do that? How are you going? Hey, right. mate. So you're okay. You're doing a workout. You're wearing yeah. your nice outfit. I'm going to be like a friendly. So it's acceptable? Yeah. Walk up and just, what, what's the first words he should say? Like, hi. If you look like, like some maniac. And if you were swinging single, mm -hmm. you would have... Thousand men. Yeah. Like, what's your name? What is my name? Where do you live? How old are you? That's normal? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. You have to guess it. I have to be like a bit playful. It's about time to leave. Let's get some camping chairs and let's go. So I got mm. these. Yeah. You want to take one? Yeah. How about another one? Another one. <laughs> this one's going over my head. I feel like I got a crossbow. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Filipina and Australian family. So for today's video, we will talk about I go with you. Did you hear that word before? Okay, let's hear about it guys. So who's been to the Philippines and uh, who's been to those high traffic areas where there's uh, Walking Street and Cebu yeah. and Nightclub District? And we were just talking, Ella and I, about how people get to know each other. Yeah. And in this country also like how do you meet people mm -hmm. and how do you go about it doing like when we were out for australia day it was sort of like hey mate like how you going like this like even if you don't know them it's yeah. sort of a general hey mate how you going you don't know their name how are you going hey right. mate but in australia between men and women at least the women can be quite forward and that's my my question to you is how would you approach a man have you ever approached a man before never i never approach a man in my life as in never <laughs> Duh, that's embarrassing that like I'm the I'm the prize why would I do that you're the prize yeah okay so I agree yeah the, the woman can be the prize and then mm -hmm. it's the man for whatever reason is maybe it's is it like just back in time when the man is more traditional and he's the aggressor and he's I don't know what, what for what reason well in the Philippines before in like in tradition men are the one who always approach their woman because the men are the, you know, the person who enter a woman's life and disturb their life. So you should be the one who approach it. And by, but nowadays, like even the girls like that, they, they are the one who did like a first move. You know, first move. Yeah. Of course, the man, let's say like, we call this torpe, a little bit shy. Of course, especially with the beautiful women like that. The man, sometimes they become like, um, as in very quiet and they can't talk so sometimes girls are the one like do the first move um, do you think girls do they team up with each other to get someone else to say it like you might get a friend to go up and say hey my friend likes you or something yeah. like that like school, yeah. school playground style yeah interesting what at what age though even like 20s when I was like high school I did that okay so high school is like wait but what about like 20s never All right, never. so at some point when you become like full independent woman yeah then the man must make the move? Yeah, because it's not that like puppy puppy love or like for fun. It's more serious. But after that, I never approach man. So what's the signal for if a man is trying to approach you, what mm -hmm. are the signals that he should be doing? Like what's the first things you look for saying, oh, he's interested in me? Um, I'm not sure, but like if he is like very, let's say talkative and like, talkative and just like, always want to see you and then like he gonna get your number and like talk like that call it means he's into you what about um before he's even like knows you so it's like if you're at sm shopping mm -hmm. center and then like he's just walking by mm -hmm. is it would you feel embarrassed if somebody made contact no you wouldn't feel embarrassed no so it's acceptable yeah walk up and just what, what's the first words he should say like hi of course you should hi and then what's and then what do you I'm say back hello like that and then like and then what's your name? like what's your name what is my name where do you live how old are you really straight up. so if he asks how old you are that's normal yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna say you have to guess it i have to be like a bit playful yeah that's me are you so when he's going through this routine are you like red are you keeping um are you in like a danger zone mindset like who is this stranger talking to me no so you're sort of in a trusting mindset right away not a very trusting mindset well He's talking to you. Why would just like talk? Okay, so don't it's, har be, it's harmless. Yeah, don't be like, 
Um, never. So in a public place, harmless? Yeah. What about in a dark alley somewhere? Oh, that's dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah, especially if you were alone. So if you were walking like uh, alone at night and some guy is like crossing the road to talk to you, mm -hmm. what do you do? Um, it depends, Han. If their face is looks scary, like scary, and then if they are drunk, that says you should be um, cautious and careful about that. I see. You don't have to worry. Okay, well that's a good one for the, the guys that are a bit nervous because I think a lot of times people go overseas and, mm -hmm. I don't know, they try to keep with their old ways mm -hmm. and they would be... If you try to do that to a woman in the West, mm -hmm. they might turn around and spray pepper spray in your face. Really? Yeah. I mean, obviously exaggerating, but yeah. not really in, in some cases. Like, there are, some people are so triggered by their past yeah. experiences that even a man talking to them like, hello, is sort of like, stay away. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why there's all these other signals, like at the gym, for example. What if yeah. we're at the gym? This is a big one. If you're working out, exercise. Yeah. Well, again, you should be friendly. So you're okay, you're doing a workout, you're wearing yeah. your nice outfit. I'm gonna be like a friendly because like, well, we were in a gym. Don't be sna snobby. What if you had, for example... Yeah. You noticed, like, if you had this behavior, I must say, if you did this here, mm -hmm. and if you were swinging single, mm -hmm. you would have... Thousand men. Yeah, in a day, you would have a like hundred people. Yeah. Thank you. Like, Thousand, talking to you yeah thousand men that's gonna chase me and so at what point do you have a defense mechanism to say um what do you just make up a story like uh, i have a boyfriend or what's the defense mechanism uh, or do you just talk to them all i'm just gonna talk well i'm single you can tell them it's to gonna be nice to be have like flirting someone right like don't let them like you know just like don't ignore them just like you can you can just like flirt back but you don't have to like over the top that like, oh, I really like you, like, you know. Okay, cool. So if you're single, boys and girls out there, um, it's like a no shame, no fault, just that's your status. And uh, yeah, like people I'm... are entitled to approach you. Yeah. And then it's your call to, you know, maybe you put your headphones in or something like that. Is that a signal? What? If you don't want to meet people, say, for example, you're mm -hmm. tired of, like, AFAMs coming up to you all the time. Yeah. What, you just put your headphones in? Or go um, on your, look at your phone and pin, like, kind of keep your head down? Uh, what I do is like, if I don't want to talk, what I do is like, I just keep um, like doing on my phone. Like, it, as in like, I don't care. Like, don't talk to me. It means if let's say someone talk to me and then I didn't reply or I gave you like a cold emotion, it means don't talk to me. All right. Don't talk to me. So. Now that's interesting because all we're trying to do is help people interpret the signals, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of these signals are kind of a little bit hard to read. Well, it depends. So men may not be used to that from different cultures too. Yeah, but if you are a man, if you're gonna um, talk to girls, please don't be scary. So at least try don't to scare... put on good behavior then. Yeah, don't scare them. I see. You know, if you scare them, it's gonna be your fault. And then, Another is like, actually, people, um, the first impression they see is like your appearance. If you look like, like some maniac or, you know what I'm talking about, scary face, yeah. like a lot of beard, mustache, okay. like that, my God, you're going to scare the girl. So, uh, right, so, but you're not looking at fashion labels like Gucci clothes or anything like no, that? No, but not be a clean. Right. Be clean. Yeah, so. like, presentable, let's say. That's yeah. the term. It's presentable, like you're going to church or something. Yeah. My goodness. So we're coming up to our destination. Let's go back to talk, let's go back to the topic that Let, let's I go with you. Yeah, let's finish it. Let's keep this topic going. So I was gonna say I go with you is something that's so common in those high traffic areas mm -hmm. because the girls are approaching. Yeah. They are so used to foreigners coming by and they want to meet foreigners for whatever reason. Friends. But that's different world. I go with you as in like they just met. They just even they didn't even met in the first in the first time and then they just saw each other on that moment and they the girl will approach like I go with you. Yeah. That's to you that's a bad sign? That's a bad sign. Like that's it means like like as in like you're asking for trouble. So if you're the foreigner and the girl is immediately like straight away like I'll go with you and yeah. like no questions asked. Yeah, it means like huh. doesn't, doesn't even go where like where are they gonna go? Like um, if I'm the foreigner and then the girl asks me 
um, say like, I go with you. I'm like, huh, I'm going to have an I'll time, like a good time tonight. <laughs> well, so that's probably what, of course you can read between the lines. It's like not, um, it's not saying certain things like, I'm going to you to, mm -hmm. what are you going to play golf? Are you going to go swimming? Or are you going to go to like, lots of other things? But of course, I go with you. It's kind of like un unconditional. I'll go with you wherever you're going, you know? Are you going to the restaurant? Yeah, well, the words I go with you is like, it could be different from man's mindset like oh like he want to come with me like mm. and then like especially those men that you know you know what i'm talking about like i'm gonna have a good time to that tonight right so that's kind of the topic of like holiday girlfriend and and something we'll probably get into mm -hmm. a little bit later but for those guys that are a little bit nervous about going overseas and meeting people mm -hmm. you can see that the approach can be just very like wholesome and and like nice to meet you and yeah present your personality like let's just say that yeah. and they they want to know about you and you can you know you yeah. can share about yourself and the girl can share about herself mm -hmm. like you said he's he can ask you how old you are yeah those are pretty typical i mean it's a good starting point to know if you're going to yeah. be compatible with this person right yeah so if you want to meet someone like just let's say in the street like or you're walking you want to see someone or say hi say hi you have to be prepared like make yourself comfortable like as impresentable to their eyes and then if you're gonna approach like don't scare them just say hi like like um like what's your name like that and then don't tell them like oh i'm here looking for girlfriend looking for girlfriend just uh, let's get to know each other like i can give my number to you and if you want you can message me and yeah. like that so there's some indicators of interest. Uh, that's, a, that's a thing mm -hmm. in the Western world where guys should know about those things. You know, yeah. what, check for to make sure that someone's actually interested in you. Don't yeah. just steamroll the whole situation mm -hmm. and try to flex and be like, "Well, I'm the I'm the foreigner. I'm here, so mm -hmm. everyone should come up to me." Um, yeah, it's interesting to see because I think that you might get used to it as the foreigner to go to those mm -hmm. places, and you're used to girls just coming up, flocks of them, mm -hmm. ten at a time. Um, whether or not they're professionals or not is a different story. Yeah. How, they could clearly just be looking for a paycheck. Yeah. Um, for how a one-night paycheck. How about you before? How do you um, approach girl? Um, so I sort of mentioned before that I was just trying to absorb what's going around me. So mm -hmm. uh, kind of a hybrid, like you go, because there was that office that I was working out of there. So mm -hmm. you, I kind of felt semi-local. And so I could kind of like, feel like... Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I know how you approach. How? Let's like say if someone doing something... That's a good thing, you know, like that good job. That's super good. Guys, I know you. It's just, I don't know, I always had that and I learned that from someone, a good friend of mine at, at, back home in Canada actually. He's just like Mr. Mr. Roll in and add energy, you know, you're not faking anything, but you just mm. come in with a good positive contribution like, if, hey, what's going on? Yeah. Like, hey, that looks like fun. What's this all about? If I don't you know. do that to me, you just first, walk away. In the first place, and I don't know you, like, we're not close. Strange, huh? Like, what are talking about? I don't even know you, so. Yeah. Why not close actually? Well, normally I'm looking for people that are a bit more open-minded, as in like, yeah, welcome to the group. If they're just like a little bit cold shoulder. Huh, I'm the I am that one. Miss cold shoulder, aren't you? Yeah. I know. That's why it's interesting how we ended up. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing for the online meet, where you can take it really slow. It took me a month to come knock on your door. Um, so that's pretty much it. Indicators of interest. Check to see what each other are, are like the signals. Mm -hmm. um, but guys, you heard it first. You've got to be the aggressor. You've got to be the one that's initiating contact. Yeah. If the girl's coming up to you, is that a red flag? Um, Should they be concerned that that's a scam? It's like ready to go? We don't really... We can judge that. It could be scam. Because I'm going like, to judge right away. If a girl's coming up to you right away, I feel like... It's a scam. Check your pockets because there's very possibly someone like sweep me, sweeping you on the backside. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, flanking you. It's but, just the reality yeah. percentages, that's all. But if I am like a girl, like single, like I'm not looking or I'm not the one who approaching, like I told you, like I don't approach. But if there's a foreigner, let's say, why not? I didn't, I didn't meet you. Like there's a foreigner, what I do is like, just I want to get, let's just get his attention. Like, you know, show that you are pretty girl, like. Uh -huh. So that's flirting, different than actual words. It means like you want to get his attention that the time if you get his attention, maybe he will like, hi, what's your name? Go, Hello. And don't you think like the environment changes a lot too? Like if you're in a uh, some place that's like a busy market, mm -hmm. maybe that's different than in a nightclub where you're just, you know, yeah. there's a little bit more. The problem is like vibes. I don't go night on nightclub. Yes. Yeah, so where, where's, a, where's a place where you might have met somebody in the past? 
Um, I never met. Like for guys who are going to the province, they know, they can look up online about the nightclub district and all that. What about meeting a nice province girl? Where are they going to meet them? Forget, on, I know online, maybe that is the only way. I think that's the only way. And if you want, you go to that province place. <laughs> you go to that link. If you want, go to her link and click on subscribe. If and you want, you. go to my link and you will see a lot of Filipinas and you can search all the province places. And you know what, guys, if you like, if you like also as your YouTuber creator, you can just like buy me a coffee, buy us a coffee. <laughs> oh, the affiliate world. All good, guys. We like your uh, audience. Thanks for sticking with us. We're just trying new things, as you can see. We got our... Um, deck chairs we got our yeah. mobile we've ditched the car because we love the car but we don't really need it we can yeah. walk and it's very um, fresh. close it's fresh it's open air yeah it's very close also so you don't have to um waste a fuel and it, it, yeah right it's cheap and free gotta mm -hmm. go love the budget options so all right should we wrap up there yeah we'll i hope do, if you guys like this topic we got lots more to say on it so we'll yeah. just do them in small series but please do give us some initial feedback so we yeah. know what to focus on I hope you get some ideas about this, how to approach girl and enjoy. And for God's sakes, guys, if you already have a girlfriend, don't go out and pick more. Yeah. That's some advice from the man. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye. Let's go. How's that? Perfecto.